Good evening everybody, this is Bev at Clarko Vision and uh, thanks for joining me. This is a um, <laughs> See, I don't know what I'm going to put for the title of my video down below, whether I want to give it the clue away right away or not, but anyway. This is a video of me unboxing a delivery. Um, this is it here. And um, there's, there's kind of, I have removed the um, addresses and stuff like that. Um, but it's come a long, long way and it was posted a long, long time ago. Um, and I was beginning to get worried about it, I must admit, but um, the, 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 the postee, the, he, he seemed quite laid back about the whole thing and not too fussed, but um, I worry about these things because I know the, the trouble and expense people go to, to saying things like this, but hey ho, it's here, I'm absolutely delighted to find it here and it looks in decent shape i feared that it would be all mangled beyond recognition but no um and it's come all the way from planet six strings which is i could probably get mail from saturn a bit quicker actually if or jupiter even you know a bit quicker than planet six strings get your mail sorry <laughs> No, he sent it. Um, a he sent it a certain method. So you know, obviously for um, just um, economy and money saving and all of that kind of stuff as well, which is fine. But actually, it wasn't when you consider. I guess it wasn't that bad, given the whole global blah de blah and um, the way things are happening in the world right now. So, but yes. Oh, stop rambling there, for God's sake. Right, anyway, listen, this is a VCLT from Darcy, Six Strings, Nine Lives. Fantastic gentleman. Um, uh, most people, I think, that watch my channel will know Darcy, but in the event that you don't, there will be a link to his channel below. Um, Darcy, Six Strings, Nine Lives, which is named after a song of this album by Canadian hard rock band Helix um, which he's very much into that band um, he likes his classic 80s metal um, he loves his Judas Priest, he loves his Iron Maiden and who can go wrong with bands like that quality British bands <laughs> um, he's into a bit of thrash as well, he's into a bit of um, everything really um, for the most part you know um, he likes a whole uh, range of stuff. Dio, um, he's in. He's 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 dipping his toes into the death metal scene. God only knows why. I have to confess, but that's entirely up to him, I suppose. But <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean that's what we all do. We try different kinds of stuff, and uh, it's all good. Um, so yeah. Um, and now that I've rambled for three and a half minutes, we better get on with this. So, I do know, I think, if I'm correct, um, I will know a couple of the things in here that he sent, um, but I don't know everything. He had been um, messaging me a few times to say, have you got this? What about that? Would you like this? Blah, 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 blah. Um, Darcy's pretty thorough at trying to suss things out for people, and I have to admit, I find Darcy pre pretty tricky to buy for, especially if it's newer releases, because he's beat you to it. He's already pre-ordered. <laughs> I think, I might get that for Darcy, but forget it. He's already got it on pre-ordered. <laughs> so that was kind of uh, one or two of the things um, I had a problem with uh, regarding him, but it's all... You know, it's all good fun, so we just, you know, you send things and and it's all part of the excitement and fun of discovery and stuff like that. So, Darcy, I just want to thank you anyway. I'm sorry for the rambling here. I really, you know me, I just ramble on a load of nonsense at times, but um, sincerely thank you. Uh, you didn't even have to go down this road, you know, I send things to people because I want to, and I know that's what you do as well, you send things because you want to, as um, many other people do, 
um, and it's very, very much appreciated. Um, know that, and your friendship uh, is very much appreciated as well. And let's go on with it. Da -da -da. I've got a wee uh, table here that it's on casters. It's a wee groovy IKEA thing, and it's quite useful for uh, positioning myself around this room. So. Now that I noticed the customs label, God, I don't know what you peek. There's there's bubble wrap everywhere, so um, I don't care where to start either, to be honest with you. And the customs things did say tapes, records, and CD, so um, I don't know what to put. We'll just start here. Excellently packaged. He assured me as well that there was no need to worry about damage because it was all solidly packed and. Open last, right, well, that's on the top and it says open last, okay, so where am I going to put this then? I'll put it there. And hopefully I don't forget about it. Right, so, right, we've got what looks like the cassettes here. Um, oh God. And I'm thinking, some, I just had a flashback there um, of cassettes that he had mentioned to me at one time. I'm trying, and I, so I have got an idea of what this could be. I'll put the cell tape there. This is a nice, stiff, sturdy box, I have to confess. Much sturdier than the Amazon ones, right? Oh, yes. Oh, this is very cool. This is excellent. I was really. He did say he'd landed a, a couple of these, and it is on through the night cassette, and it is a. Uh, QC10, which is definitely a Canadian pressing. I do recall Dan Powers um, talking about this QC10 thing on some Canadian issues. It's purely a Canadian... This is amazing. Manufactured by Polygram, blah -de blah and District blah -de blah Made in Canada. And it's got the address uh, 6000, which is not how you say it in French, I know. Code de Lise Saint Laurent, Quebec, or Quebec, um, anyway, right. My French is appalling. <laughs> I did French at school and it's appalling. Look at this, it's a black cassette. Black body, no labels, QC10. Oh, that's mega cool. And what does that say? Somebody's wrote something on it, but I ain't going to worry about that. Somebody, oh, it must be the person's name, but which you know, sometimes they did that back in the day, but that really does not bother me in the slightest. 1980, so yep, nice, uh, short inlay thing there. Oh, I'm so chuffed, that's in really excellent condition, fantastic. <laughs> oh, Canadian cassette of one of the greatest new wave of British heavy metal albums. Um, that Cloudy Milder will never own. He doesn't know what he's missing. <laughs> Believe it or not, Cloudy, Joe Elliott, although he doesn't sound great on that album, he sounds far less screechy, and I know what you mean. But, you know, I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, look at this. This is a beauty as well. Rocket. A cassette single. Um, extended play. Do not have this one, and this is part of the Steve Clark era, which is very welcome in my collection so again made in Canada so you've got Rocket the Lunar Mix which is obviously the 12 inch single version as well and then you've got Woman Live from the Hysteria Tour uh, side B you have Rocket the Lunar Mix again and Rock of Ages Live um, oh superb Vertigo Again, it's just, this one has paper labels. I've never seen this. Again, it's a Canadian, oh, super, 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 super cool. And it's got inside advertising the Historia VHS of all their uh, videos that have been made up to the time. And we have the inlay inside, January 1989. Uh, that bit's very, it's, it's about ready to fall off that, because it's, it's a perforated bit, but um, it's, it's 
It's lovely, it's still attached, it's just quality. You know, this is just brilliant. So thanks again, I'm loving it. And this one, this I I remember he did show me this in a photo. And I say send me this one. Um, now this is from the Adrenalize era. Um, um, and it's the track Stand Up, Kick Loving to Motion. And I say I would be quite happy to have this one because Steve Clark partly, he was involved in the songwriting for the, the music for this. And it is one of the better tracks of Adrenalize. Um, and there's not many of them, let me tell you, that are decent on that album. Um, so yeah, um, so I thought, oh, I'll have that because again, it's quite a rare thing. You don't see a lot of them. Another black one, no labels on this one. Um, you got stand up, keep loving to motion on both sides, and on side A, is that right? Hang on a second. How does it say the card? Wow, the card's actually. Really stiff. It's very stiff. I don't know if it was maybe one of these slip cases at one point and it's been... I don't know. But anyway, it's in a case and it's pretty cool how that is. Um, so you've got side one, stand up, kick love into motion and side two from the inside, which is an acoustic pile of drivel that was written by Joe Elliott. Yeah. That's what I've got to say about that, but it was definitely worth it for, um, yeah, stand up, kick, love and two motion. Um, yeah, fantastic. That is really quite rare, that one, so, as well, I would say. So, brilliant stuff. Canadian again. <laughs> right, let's see. Mirror um, Bubbles. What have we got here? This is a CD. And it is... A nice one. It's a UDO. Um, Darcy's into UDO, and so am I actually. I think um, Udo, with his work with Accept and his band UDO, and pretty much everything he's involved in is pretty excellent. I don't have this one. Master Cooter, is that how you say that one? Um, what have we got here? 2007. Candlelight Records. Hmm, never heard of them before. Interesting. So um, I do look forward to listening to this very much indeed. Twelve tracks. So I it is my intention to get the whole of the UDO catalogue over time. Um. So fantastic stuff. Right. What else have we got here? <sighs> This could be the thing. Oh, I see what you mean, Darcy. He did say the edges are all beefed up. And there's a couple of beauties in here. I just know it. Right, wait a minute. Superb, Darcy. You're an expert packager. Absolute expert. Now, which one of these to go with first? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? It just doesn't. So we'll just put that on the floor. We'll just take one out. Um, in fact, yeah, we'll just go with this one first. I knew this was coming. I had asked if Darcy would look out for it for me. Um, and it is the record store day. Was it the first or set? I think it was the first drop. There was two drops this year, wasn't there? Um, it was the first drop, I think. And I asked if Darcy would keep an eye open for me, along with uh, Tim, uh, down in Florida as well. And they both did. And they both got me a copy and they both said they'd send them and I'm over the moon to have two copies of this because this is, you know, this is gold. This is 1980 Def Leppard and it's what they were, you know, it's what they originated from and it's what they should have been had things gone differently um, and they hadn't turned into that laughing stock that they are today. But um, this is high quality, just great, raw, live, new wave of British heavy metal. Um, oh, so chuffed to get this. Um, brand new, absolutely thrilled. Double 
LP 180 gram. Um, it's just amazing stuff. Um, definitely worth having this. So, and as I say, thank you so much for going out your way to get the star set. It's it's amazing. It means so much to me. And I'm so excited about this other one because I've been waiting for it for ages and ages and ages. And everybody else out there has been raving about this and I've been so desperate to, to hear it because I wanted to play it and I refused to go anywhere near YouTube to sample it because I wanted to wait for the actual record and oh, absolutely finally got it in my hands because everybody else's was arriving and I'm thinking mm, mine's is still out there somewhere <laughs> but KK's Priest and Serm what's it? Sermons of the Sinner. Um again it's brand new. It's made in Canada. X Records. Oh that's X X One Records. I think you mentioned that before, didn't you, Darcy? I can't remember. I'm gonna open this one up. The new band created by KK also includes yeah, that's right, it includes a CD. Hang wait a minute. If I just grab my trusty opener, shrink wrap thing we are. Let's see if we can do this very neatly here. Yep. It's actually needing a wee clean because it's got all sticky off where I've just uh, scored the cell tape earlier on. But there we go. I'm going to keep the hype sticker as well. Just because. Let's just. Uh, and absolutely, you're right, Darcy. These have all arrived splendidly. Uh, now, see if I put this on people and I don't like it. I'm going to say that. Yes, <laughs> I can't see me not liking it. I just can't. Not from everything I've heard. So I'll be really disappointed. But I'm so excited to listen to this one as well. So there we have it, um, it's on black Ooh, vinyl I believe this one, hang on a second. So there's the CD, oh, just in a nice little plain poke, so that's brilliant. Where are we? Which side does it come from? There I think. So that's excellent, very useful indeed. And we have a nice, um, it's just got a bit of stuff off it because it's new. Really nice, I like the inner with the, the graphics. Uh, lyrics and um, lyrics and stuff. Oh my, I can hear the static as well. Crikey. It's not polylined, but it's that kind of smooth paper that causes static. And it's loaded with bits of newness and paper and stuff but we'll deal with that we'll get it sorted ladies and gentlemen kk downing so yes i am really super excited to get a hold of this as well thank you again darcy I'm so chuffed to get this um is there a i don't think there will be because you put the inner well that's normally how it works which is Good. It's a nice, nice, uh, strong sleeve as well, which you tend to get from uh, the North American territories. <coughs> um, so where did I put that? There it is. There. Now, open this last. They said to to me. So what on earth has he done now? Open last. Here it goes. Is it? Oh, it's more tapes, right enough. One, two. And they feel like they're sealed. What has he gone and done? What's he done? Oh, I did not. Blind Rage, brand new. This is. Didn't they release a set? Oh, that's fantastic. Don't they tell me this is the. It is indeed. Too Mean to Die, which I love anyway. This is a great album as well. So, red, green. 
No. I love this one as well. Stalingrad. Look at that, people. Oh, not Darcy. This is too much. Way too much. Way too much. Uh, then Blood of the Nations. Again, it's red. Fantastic. And the last one here is The Rise of Chaos, which has amazing artwork. You really, I, mean, I don't have it on vinyl, but you really need the vinyl to appreciate the artwork on that one because of the detail, but ah, fantastic. So that's kind of interesting. They're all red apart from To Mean To Die, which is green, which goes with the, the artwork of that album. Oh, that's superb. That's too cool. <laughs> Oh, wow, Darcy, thank you. That's so nice. Very um, expertly packaged. I mean, honestly, it must have taken ages just to package that. So, yep, there you go. Some classic, classic stuff. Talk about nostalgia with the cassettes. The amazing uh, Udio. The amazing Kiki's Priest and the amazing... Proper original Def Leppard, so um, oh, I'm I'm so chuffed. It's coming at this time of the year. It feels like a Christmas present now, you know. Um, fantastic. So thanks a lot, Darcy. Um, magic. I don't know what to say. Um, that was tremendous. Um, really appreciate that. And as I say, people, you know Darcy, but if you don't, you need to find out because he's just terrific. He puts a lot of work into his channel, he does a lot of rankings and um, kind of spotlight things and um, just talks about a lot of musical stuff, um, has, a, has, a, has a great following because he's, he's just a really interesting channel to watch so thanks again Darcy and thanks to you all for watching and supporting um, and I hope if I don't, you know, I, I don't know if I'll get another video out before Christmas. I might. I'm not 100% sure yet. It's possibly unlikely. Um, but if you're into Christmas mail, do yourself a favour and purchase that. <laughs> it's uh, going to be on my playlist. Well, it's on my playlist at the moment. It's getting a few good spins this month. So, um, On that note, have a nice festive season. Whatever you're doing, please stay safe. Um, things out there are pretty uh, dodgy at the moment, so just take care of yourselves and we'll see you all in another video. Thank you and bye just now.